Welcome to Muscle Car Restorations, where for 30 years we have been preserving and restoring some of America's finest muscle cars. We're passionate about bringing our customers' cars to life, and today we're talking about four of those customer cars. And specifically, we're talking about Corvettes today. All meanwhile, we'll be driving this 1978 25th anniversary Corvette, but more on this one later. At Muscle Car Restorations, we have a wide variety of cars and all sorts of different types of restorations. Some of them are partial, some of them are more of a driver quality, and some of them are like this. This is a 1956 Corvette that is getting a modern chassis, a 430 horsepower LS, and so we're considering this one a resto mod. The customer wants something that brings the handling and the drivability into the 21st century and still something that he can go down to his local car show, have a great time, and just enjoy driving his car around. And 1956 was a pretty big year for the Corvette. It was actually the first year with exposed headlights. Before that, they were covered. And it also was the first year that it had the iconic body line. Now moving forward in time a little bit, we come to 1963. That was the first year for the second generation Corvette. We happen to have one of those in our shop right now. Now this car is currently finishing up in our body shop and 1963s were a one year only for the split rear window. Very iconic, not many of them came with that and this one is actually getting a NCRS style restoration and that stands for National Corvette Restorers Society. And so that's kind of a big deal for Corvettes. It means that everything has to be as it was when it left the factory, which takes a lot of documentation and research. We've even brought in an NCRS judge and a Corvette C2 expert to come and help us evaluate this particular vehicle because we want to make sure that when we deliver it to the owner, they're able to confidently take it to different shows for point style judging. And we want to make sure that they do well. Now this car from the factory came with a 327 with 340 horsepower. And behind that was a Borg Warner four speed. And now moving forward just a little bit more, we also have a 1966 C2 Corvette. Now, this car is also getting a NCRS style restoration, which means, again, it has to be thoroughly, thoroughly documented. Everything down to the original 427 big block. So in 1966, this was the first year you could get that 427 cubic inch big block. Now, there was a smaller, less horsepower version, and then there was also the 450 horsepower version L72 427 big block. That's what this one has. So it's a desirable car for the 1966 model year. And again, this one is not too bad. It is just beginning its restoration, starting that documentation process. It'll soon be disassembled. It's a little rough around the edge. It's not perfect, but it is a great base to start a restoration. Everything's there and it's all numbers matching, which is a big deal. The last Corvette that we have to talk about today is this 1978 Corvette that I've been driving. This car is a blast to drive. It cruises down the road really nice and has beautiful lines on it. And I think it's one of the Corvettes that gets overlooked. Of course, the 56 is a big year for the Corvette. The 63 split window is a big year for the Corvette. And so is the 66. They all had very important things happen to them. And the 78, sure, it was the same body style, the C3 body style that had come out in 1968, but they've updated it tastefully and it still looks nice. Of course, Corvettes had to comply to the EPA regulations, which means a lot of change, but it doesn't take away from the fact that the car is still a blast to drive. It still handles really nice and it's still a pretty cool car. Now, muscle car restorations, we only did a partial restoration of this car. Um, luckily, we only had to do the paintwork on this car. The interior is still really nice and the owner decided, well, hey, if it ain't broke, 
don't fix it. He liked everything else the way it was and just wanted a freshen up paint job. Now this paint job was done a decade ago, but it still holds up remarkably well. And the owner still drives the car quite a bit. Obviously I'm driving it right now, so the car does get driven. Again, thank you for going along with me on this ride as we talk about some of the Corvettes that we're restoring here at Muscle Car Restorations. Don't forget to follow along on our social media as these cars progress through the restoration process. Thank you for watching. Again, I'm Spencer Ice with Muscle Car Restorations.